Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards. This episode, there is some major hobby news that I want to discuss with you. Okay, so the hobby news that we have, today is July 1st. That means PSA is reopening. We'll talk about that or their lack thereof of reopening. We'll also discuss Golden Auction being purchased by Steve Cohen and Nat Turner. And after that, we'll talk about tops and how they seem to be kind of messing up with the Wanda Franco situation. Okay, so the first thing I wanna discuss again is PSA is now reopened. That's fantastic. But when we say reopen, they just opened up one more service level. Instead of it being just Super Express at 300, they have now opened Express at 200, which is fine. I don't think it's good or bad. It's a little bit disappointing because I think we all expected it to be close to the same price point where it was before, but it went from $75 to $100 to now $200. So it just keeps going up and the sports card market's going down. So the incentive to grade cards for $200 or even $300 with the Super Express is just not really there. And yes, people who are new to the hobby, every single summer prices kind of get soft especially like this in the mid baseball season. Baseball is not super hot. Like there's playoffs at the end and then hype at the beginning. Basketball's over or almost over and football, there hasn't even been summer camp yet. So all these things have led to the softening market, but it doesn't help when we've been looking forward since April 1st to have PSA reopen just to be another really expensive level that 90%, maybe even 95% of us collectors will not be submitting to. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is what it is. PSA is probably being smart and not taking too much what they can accept again. I think we can look at their backlog and still see they're pretty far behind, which is not surprising because there was a rumor of a 10 million card backlog. I have no proof of that, but it, it makes sense. So overall, not super surprising, just a little disappointing that it was so expensive and it wasn't more service levels. Okay, so the next big deal is Golden Auctions has been purchased by Collectors Holdings. Collectors Holdings, they are owned by, well, there's a couple owners, but some of the big ones are Steve Cohen and Nat Turner, and they now own Golden Auctions. Ken Golden is now officially not the sole or main owner of Golden Auctions. Good for you, Ken. You created a huge business, and I'm happy that you're able to make some money out of it. He is staying as an equity holder in Collectors Holdings. So he'll still be working at Golden Auctions, but he's not going to be the big dog anymore. That's going to be Steve Cohen and Nat Turner. Nat Turner is the owner of PSA and Collector's Universe, and Stephen Cohen is the owner of the New York Mets. So it's a really interesting dynamic to see these people all come together. But there are some good things about it. It shows that the sports card market's doing good still. You know, all these people are bringing money into the market, and I don't think we've seen the end of the boom. I don't think we're going to boom again up to where we were, but I don't think we're going to crash. But that's just my personal opinion, and stuff like this is a good example of why I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. How this will affect the market is something we don't really know yet. This just barely happened. We don't even know how much it sold for or exactly what's happening there. But overall, it's really interesting to see Nat Turner, the owner of PSA, get involved. Same with Steve Cohen. Nat Turner has stated he wants to keep PSA and Golden Auctions like outside of each other. So don't think that PSA owns Golden Auctions. They do not. Nat Turner and Steve Cohen do and a couple other owners of you know collector's holdings. That's a very big difference that you need to realize because because that doesn't mean PSA is gonna overtake it or anything like that. Uh, but overall, this will be a really good thing for Golden Auctions. Ken Golden said that the reason he did this is because he would rather be a part of a big company that can do a lot of big things, be the market leader, than kind of just be the sole owner of the company and not have enough funds to do such with it. What has kind of happened in the past, if you follow Golden Auctions, their website has crashed a few times on really big auctions, and it's been kind of frustrating. Um, right now, we have PWCC high-end auctions popping up, a couple other auction houses popping up. So I think this was a way for Ken Golden to really take his brand to the next level and make some really good money while doing it. So again, congrats, Ken. I, I think that we're gonna see a lot of good stuff from them. Ken, in the article that I read, discussed all of his plans for golden auctions. I'm not gonna highlight too many of them, but basically wants to be like the go-to. You know how Beckett was in the 90s? I think, 90s and early 2000s, really. I think Ken Golden wants to do that with his company or his former company, the company now he owns equity in. Uh, so anyways, that is that news, which is pretty crazy. I did not see that coming. I just woke up and saw it, so I thought I would share. And the last thing I wanna talk about is tops. I am a big tops fan. I'm wearing a top shirt right now. You know, this is from Wade Boggs. And I like tops. I have a lot of top shirts, as you've seen, but they are kind of frustrating me right now. Um, they always take like rookies that are good and just destroy their value. Releasing multiple flagship rookie cards, releasing multiple tops, chrome rookie cards, making image variations and short prints and all these other brands and one-offs. And it, it's just kind of getting frustrating. And I'm feeling that way with Wander Franco a little bit. The reason I feel that way is because he debuted in June. And in the past, they've said that the cutoff is June. 
but they also, for Tops Update, that is, to include them. But they've also had players that have debuted later than June get included in Tops Update, so it does feel like because, like, hey, we have Jared Kalenic now in Tops Update, so that will sell some product. Let's now put Wander Franco in 2022 Series 1, so that way we have valuable players in every product, which is fine, but it stinks because having a player in a later set in the year is sometimes a good thing. Look at Mookie Betts, Mike Trout, Jacob deGrom. A lot of other really good players are in the same situation where their cards are more valuable because less of them are printed in update, less of them are printed in Topps Chrome update, less of them probably are gonna be printed in Topps Chrome Sapphire update. I don't know that for sure, but just my guess from the past. But on top of that, having Wander Franco in 30 sets next year stinks compared to having him just in like five or 10 and making his rookie card market make some sense. So this is kind of not surprising news. What happened was is they released the uh, Wander Franco Topps Now rookie debut card. It's not rookie debut, but his debut card um, it's not the rookie debut in the sense of Tops update, it's the debut and like he literally came up. But it says call up on the card and not actual rookie, which means that he will be held out until next year. So overall, I'm a little frustrated with Tops. I'm actually gonna make an entire video on that, kind of explaining why Tops can't have nice things and how they kind of make things confusing. The most confusing rookie is Ronald Acuna. If you go look at what's going on with his cards, you can feel the same way as me with multiple different Topps Chrome images, multiple different flagship images with a short print in Series 2 and Topps Update, and you get the point. So anyways, let's hope they don't do that with Wander Franco. I really hope Topps can pull this one out because I would love to chase some of his cards. I was hoping this year, but maybe next year. So anyways, guys, those are all the topics I want to talk about today. Thank you for watching. I originally had a Mookie Betts PC collection video made. You'll see that either Sunday or Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.